weekend, your social media will literally be lit up with posts about an astronomical treat. It's a total lunar eclipse, and this one is described as a super blood wolf moon. Say that five times fast. I can't. It sounds like a movie title. <laughs> Meteorologist Paul Hagen breaks down what it is and when the best chances are to see it here in central North Carolina. Sky watchers are getting excited about the total lunar eclipse that will occur Sunday night, but because that doesn't sound dramatic enough, the phrase that's been bouncing around social media is the super blood wolf moon. Two natural questions you might have. What is it and will we actually be able to see it? What it is is the lunar eclipse. It's going to produce that red color associated with the blood moon moniker. The Earth is going to be directly in between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow over the moon's surface, but enough sunlight makes its way around our planet that the moon doesn't disappear. It just turns that shade of red. The super term is because the moon is at perigee, its closest approach to Earth in its slightly off-center orbit, and the wolf moon is just a full moon in the month of January. It's a phrase that supposedly dates back to Native American and colonial traditions, but it's pretty much made up. The partial eclipse begins at 1033 over central North Carolina. The total eclipse stretches from 1141 p.m. until 1243 Monday morning, with that maximum eclipse occurring just after midnight at 1212 a.m. At this point, I'm cautiously optimistic that our weekend storm system that'll give us all the rain will clear out in time for you to see this event, but it will be a close call. Good visibility conditions expected over central North Carolina. Bundle up if you'll head out to see it. Temperatures will be in the 20s with wind chills in the teens by midnight Sunday night. We'll keep you updated on the moon watching forecast here on CBS 17 throughout the weekend. In the Weather Center, I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Paul Hagen.